In this video, I'm going to talk about the amino acid supplement I use to quit skin picking. So normally I would have a bottle of pills here to show you, but I actually did this years ago. And I'm doing this video now as a testament to how well this amino acid supplement worked. Like it literally cured my skin picking problem with only four months of use and it never came back. Um, and as you can see now, I've got a little bit of stuff going on. That's because I went to a birthday party and I had red wine, which I know I can't have because it makes me break out. But I'm not tearing into my face, um, which is a big problem I had. So I'll start with the uh, research uh, and the dosage and all that. And then the second half, I will go into some backstory as well as shamelessly promote the book I just wrote on Acme. So. Um, the supplement is called N-acetylcysteine. Uh, you'll see it abbreviated as NAC. It is commonly used in allopathic medicine for, say, like if you showed up in the emergency room with acetaminophen poisoning, they're going to give you N-acetylcysteine for that. They also use it for palliative care for people with COPD. Um, it's an expectorant, so if you've got bronchitis, they might give it to you for that. Um, athletes also use it for enhanced performance. So um, in this study, they wanted to see if calming oxidative stress in the brain would help with OCD skin picking. It's been known for a long time that people with OCD compulsions, they have excess oxidative stress on the brain. And when you take an acetylcysteine, it causes the liver to kick out a lot of glutathione. This glutathione is our body's master antioxidant. It calms oxidative stress, as antioxidants do. So in the study, they used doses between 600 and 800 mil, I'm sorry, 600 and 1200 milligrams. I started at the 1200 milligram dose, and within three or four days, I noticed a dramatic reduction in my urge to pick. And um, after a week, I upped it to 1800 milligrams. I knew it was safe to bring it up to that dose based on like other research for other things like the COPD and whatnot. And at 1800 milligrams, it was like someone flipped a switch in my head and I suddenly did not skin pick anymore. Um, it's, it's kind of painful to like think about and remember because it's, it's hard to describe unless you've got like a, an OCD compulsion. It's, it's like trying to not scratch a mosquito bite. That's like the only thing I can liken it to. Um, it, it didn't matter like what I had going on, whether I had to go to work or I had a date coming up. Like I would just tear into my face. Like it, it didn't matter. And yeah, it, it, it's like flipped a switch. This N-acetylcysteine just stopped it completely at 1,800 milligrams. And I don't remember exactly how long um, people were on uh, the supplement in the study. I'll try to find it and post it in the link. I took it for four months. And at four months, it started making me really sick. So I had to stop taking it. Um, this is not uncommon for me to have these problems with things that mess with my liver. Really, any supplement I've tried that has an effect on the liver will make me sick at some point. So um, I didn't go back to taking it because, I mean, it made me really sick. Like, I was bedridden, I couldn't eat, and, you know, that all went away when I stopped taking it. But I just I didn't want to go back on it after that. But, I mean, four months was enough, I guess, because my skin picking didn't come back. Um, so, yeah, this stuff is available over the counter. It comes in a variety of uh, pill sizes. If you're concerned about side effects, they're generally pretty mild. I have other health problems, which is probably why I reacted so badly to it. Um, but generally, it's just like upset stomach or headaches, and you can reduce the chances of side effects by taking it with a high-carb meal. Um, and in general, when taking an amino acid supplement, you do want to take them with high carb meals because um, amino acids will compete with other proteins for absorption. So just to get the most bang for your buck and guarantee the most absorption, take it on an empty stomach or with a high carb meal. So yeah, now I will go into a little backstory. I had terrible, terrible acne until I was almost 30 years old. And at 
that point, the doctors were just kind of like, you should learn to live with it and stop picking at your face. As if like, you know, yeah, I, I wouldn't be picking at my face if I could stop myself. God, just, doctors are so ignorant sometimes. But, so I was on my own, as you generally are with chronic diseases. Um, I became what can only be described as obsessed with acne, um, going through all the research and Shocker, there's a lot of research out there on acne, and they do know what the underlying causes are. And it's not just the bacteria. That is a small facet of a very complex problem. And doctors are just too lazy to take the time to work with each person as an individual. Because though we know all of these underlying causes now, they're different for each individual. And they just they don't want to take the time. They just want to write a damn prescription. One size fits all solution, which obviously doesn't work because 17 million people in America have goddamn acne. So, um, the book I wrote goes over all of these things as well as, you know, what you need to be using on the outside, um, which is not acne medication, not things like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. Um, this is not an outside problem, though outside things can add to it. Um, it goes over nutritional deficiencies as well as nutritional excesses that can play into acne. Um, digestive problems. If you've got food causing you acne, you have digestive problems. Take dairy for example. Dairy itself does not cause acne. If it did, it would do that to everyone, but it doesn't. It only does that to certain individuals, and that tells you right there, the problem is you. Uh, there's something wrong with your ability to digest uh, certain foods, which is what is leading to breakouts. You know, if I was to try and restrict every single food that made me break out, I would be left with chicken, bread, and fruit. And you know, you can't, what, what sort of life is that to live on three foods? Uh, or, you know, just be broke out all the time. No. Your acne is a message. Something is wrong inside your body. And once you resolve those things, your acne clears up. And you can stop actively treating it. Um, so, yeah, I'll post the book in the link below as well. Definitely check that out. Um, it's straightforward. It's rather short. And it goes over everything you need to know. Um, if you're still getting acne as an adult or you know, it's a work too if you're a teenager and you're watching this um, It also covers menstrual and pubescent acne. You don't need to break out when you get your period. This is rooted in nutrition deficiencies and that glutathione I mentioned has a big role big role in menstrual acne. So Yes, check that out. It's a good book if I do say so myself and definitely give N-acetylcysteine a try if you have a skin picking problem. It's, God, it's worked better than anything I ever tried.